You know, I'm really happy and I'm excited for our weekend. You, you know, told us earlier that we can expect some nice sunny weather, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, I mean, it is the last weekend of summer vacation yes, for many, it Dane, <laughs> and it's the last weekend of Chiefs training camp here in St. Joseph, so you'll want to go outside and enjoy it. It's 616 as we're waking up on this Friday morning. We're waking up to clear skies on our KQ2 tower camera overlooking St. Joseph, but in some parts of the KQ2 viewing area, we're waking up to showers and thunderstorms this morning, but this is going to be short-lived as we go into the weekend. Right now, temperatures are sitting in the middle to upper 60s, already in some places in the lower 70s. That's because a cold front is passing through the region, so it's comfortable and it's also less humid as you're stepping out the door as our winds are switching up to the north. We're waking up to clear skies for the most part, but over in some parts of our northeastern counties and Gentry County, over into Harrison and Mercer counties and Grundy counties. You're waking up to some showers and thunderstorms this morning, so you're very lucky because you're the only places right now that are getting it, like Gentry into Bethany and then to Franklin, heading into Sullivan and Putnam counties in northeast Missouri. And unfortunately, this is only going to be the only rain chances we're going to see as we go into the weekend, as we're going to be staying dry for the most part. Our KQ2 Tri-State 4 camera overlooking Maryville this morning is showing some clear skies skies in that part of the KQ2 viewing area. Your KQ2 day planner is tracking a dry and quiet Friday for us as we wrap up the work week and head into the weekend with temperatures very warm at 90 degrees before we start cooling down to 76 with clear skies heading into tonight and heading into the last weekend of summer vacation. It's going to be a quiet and warm one. 89 degrees on Saturday and on Sunday with lots of sunshine. So here's the breakdown. We have this storm system and cold front that's passing through this morning. So even though we're getting those northerly winds, we're still going to get that daytime heating that is going to allow the temperatures over the weekend to go up to 90 degrees. High pressure is going to be building in, which is also going to be keeping us dry and sunny throughout the weekend. Here's a closer look in your KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Again, as the cold front continues to push south, we're going to see some clouds heading into the late morning into the lunchtime hour but I'm not expecting much from this. This is a weak cold front. We're still going to get the northerly wind. Now places south of Kansas City could see a stray shower or two but again not expecting much. We're all going to be staying dry as we go into our Friday night into our Saturday morning and lasting into the afternoon hours on Saturday. But as we go into the new work week next week, this is when our weather pattern is going to change. I am expecting a storm system to start pushing through beginning late Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, which is finally going to be giving us some better chances of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. And we do need the rain because, unfortunately, our drought situation is not getting any better. The Extreme drought continues to expand while parts of Caldwell County are already under an exceptional drought. So definitely this rain we're going to get next week is good news for us. A high of 90 degrees today. Lots of sunshine after those stray showers and thunderstorms pass through. Overnight lows tonight, 64 degrees, mostly clear. 89 degrees for your Saturday with a lot of sunshine. And then more of the same heading into Sunday, Dane. And then finally, next week, it is going to be changing up a bit with those chances of showers and thunderstorms. And for the first day of school on Thursday, not too bad. Lots of sunshine, 87 yeah, degrees. Yeah, then you know what? Thanks, Vanessa. Think, speaking of school, 